Dr. Ratan Sharda has written several books, mostly on the RSS, and has been awarded an PhD on his research on the Hindutva organization. His latest book published last year, Conflict Resolution, The RSS Way, explains the RSS's approach towards resolving internal situations in Kashmir, Punjab, and the Northeast. Today, Dr. Sharda is here as he has been sympathetic to the expelled BJP national spokesperson, Nupur Sharma, saying that she did not say anything wrong about the prophet in that heated television debate a few days ago, which of course got Arab and Islamic countries to register a global protest and kicked up a huge diplomatic row with these countries, forcing the BJP to sack Nupur Sharma and another party member, Naveen Jinder. So, Dr. Sharma, uh, Dr. Sharda, would you say, would you agree with the many BJP party sympathizers of Nupur Sharma, like you have, that she should not have been expelled? What is your take there? Thanks, Brinda. First of all, thanks uh, me. Uh, thank you for having me on a platform which is professor the anti-RSS, anti-Hindu. <laughs> And I would have refused to come, but I have suffered from the hands of left and so-called liberal lobby for years. And we have been unseen, we have been uh, touched, uh, you know, kept out like untouchables and parihas and uh, not been on media for long, long years before 2014. Mm -hmm. So if I get the same way, I would look different from the left. So that's why I've agreed to come on the show. Thank and you. Good uh, discussion. Uh, mm -hmm. Coming to Nupur, I have my views. Okay. I was... And... If you look I at the, was, I'm sorry we missed that. You said I, I was? I was in the same debate, okay, okay. on that particular panel. And I, I was through that same ringer, same kind of ridicule, same kind of jokes on, uh, on Hindus and Shiva. And they said happening for more than 10 to 12 days before this exploded on that particular day on the screen. Much worse debates have taken place during those days. Because for one simple question, please show me one such Favara across India, anywhere in any of Mughal architecture. Of course, there is no answer. So that being so, this 10 12 days of poison that was spread on the on the on TV, uh, what Nopur said was exactly what Hadith says, what uh, big scholars of Islam say, except that she spoke a little hatedly. If that can be called hate, I am afraid that there are so many Maulanas who have uh, acted worse. So to my point of view, it was. Uh, if I were to take all those heated debates, there would be at least 100 more cases on so many Maulanas and so many so-called Muslim scholars. So in, a, in such a debate, when it, Atmar is a created, I was telling yesterday, to speak about Nupur's uh, outburst is like, uh, and not speaking about the background to this particular outburst for last 10 to 12 days, forget the earlier days when you've been abused and uh, ridiculed, Hindu religion has been continuously ridiculed and uh, abused for years together. So it has peaked now. I, I remember I was in the, during Ram Mandir temple movement also on the TV. We would be taunted time and again. We would keep on cool once in a while to speak up. If that is the situation, then in such a case, you speak of Nupur without referring to the earlier days of uh, huge abuse and insult. You would like, you know, some lady having a cartoon of uh, condoming potentially. That was also that no action has been taken against her. It is like speaking about Gujarat, Gujarat riots without speaking of the Godhra train burning. So in my mind, this should have been closed at that time. It was not closed. Tempers were raised by people like Zubair, who deliberately created a scenario where he hinted at, you know, hinted at certain elements to take on and create a scenario around it. Till that time, well, I think. Sorry to interrupt you here, but Dr. Sharda, I think what we are really looking at the 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 the, the, the distress now among BJP sympathizers for Nepal is that. It, 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 the, the government acted only after Islamic countries, you know, Arab countries and Arab uh, and Islamic nations forced the hand of the government in a sense to kind of, you know, get the party to, uh, d you know, to suspend her. Is it, I mean, they find that ironical that, you know, after this uh, huge uh, kind of anti-Muslim kind of uh, atmosphere in the country, it was the Islamic nations that forced the government's hand. What do you have to say to that? See, I would, I, I support this government, I have supported on various measures, I have criticized in measure tone where required. So to say that we are very distressed and anybody is very disturbed about what has happened, yes, we are disappointed. But to say we are distressed, we are against the government, that is not true. Are you, you are disappointed, but you are disappointed. In a way, yes, why I am disappointed? Because it should have started much earlier. To my mind, 
if the day Shiv Shivalinga joke started coming, if police had acted that time, there would be no Nupur Sharma uh, scene. One, if the government has acted at the time of Shaheen Bagh itself and taken tough measure against the people who are being venom against Hindus, their symbols, their sacred symbols, these scenarios won't have. Well, may, that may not be entirely yeah, true. The things, no, sorry, no, uh, the the the, uh, the shivling, no, the no, shivling no, jokes. Sorry, the shivling jokes really was not insulting ex as much as like you know if you had the Baba atomic, you know, uh, a picture of the Baba <laughs> atomic reactor. No, but that is not in of shivling. If you show road uh, road uh, posters as shivlings, you show shav uh, you know favaras as shivling. That is insulting. Bhava okay, in fact, so we'll not get into that. We'll not get into just a moment. Mm. For me, Bhava, it was a tribute to the to the symbolism of Hindus because it was exactly the shape, absolute shape that the universe has. That shivaling has it holds the maximum energy. So it was actually a tribute to Hindu thinking. Unfortunately, people didn't understand. To me, it was ignorance of those people. It was not insult. It was ignorance and stupidity of people who believe to believe that they are Hindus because they are Hindu names. Or Muslims, of course, don't know about our texts and scriptures. Well, the issue here is not about what is right and what is wrong and what, what was shown, but really about that this is not the first time that, say, that the BJP or the, uh, we come to the RSS later, but the BJP, which has kind of, you know, uh, played according to statecraft rather than sticking to its ideological core. For instance, the beef ban, you know, in states like Goa and many states in the Northeast, which it uh, rules, it has not really enforced the beef ban, whereas it has done it in other uh, states. It's kind of show. Would you say that's a hypocrisy of some kind that you know it has not? Back to your Middle East issue, right? Mm -hmm. talked, Sorry, we talked about Middle East issues. First. You know, countries pulling the plug. Mm -hmm. I would say Middle East countries are the last countries who should be talking about it. They have Islamic rules. We're not getting into that. That's yeah. over and done with because they are not they're not democratic countries. You, they are autocratic uh, kingdoms. We are not say, getting into that. We are a democratic no, country. We have a constitution to follow. Yes. What How I'm about this? What I'm okay, saying. Okay, you can is, say. Yeah. I'm saying what I'm saying is that they should be the last person raising questions sure. about our secular tradition. That is all I'm saying. Okay. That's all. What about the, the the beef ban, for instance? How the BJP had? Would you say it's hypocritical? the way it does in certain states, which it rules and in certain states, but uh, it does not enforce the ban because, you know, it has to keep its voters. Or what it's is the not, other reason? What is important. the reason you think? See, when 370 was not being removed for years, which was one of the foundational principles of BJP, people said that BJP is going back on its words, where it didn't bring in laws, uh, which were which were their, uh, you know, continuous demand from the Hindu uh, society. It was said that they are not not all of Hindu society. Some sections of Hindu society. Well, try try getting the votes. Mm. Try try having a referendum on Hindu temples control, for example. You know whether Hindus are or RSS. And now, if we come to this particular issue, a yeah. political party and a government has certain compulsion, a certain ways of taking issues at the right time. So when the time is right, those issues are taken. And to take people along, you have to give up, give them a little time. I'll give an example. When Vishindu Parishad had its first uh, uh, first conference in Northeast, many purist Hindus said that these Northeast tribals are not Hindus because they worship animals, they worship nature, they are animist, and uh, they are as good as pagans, as the Christians call them, uh, very disparagingly, and they eat beef. At that time, Guruji, who was supposed to move most pure of the pure Hindus, and in your left view, the worst kind of uh, Hindu, Hindu the bigot, in your terms, not on my terms. Mm -hmm. And he said that to my mind, we all are animists. We are all nature worshipping. We worship Naga. We worship bull. We worship various animals. They are vehicles of our gods. And we also worship nature. So they are as Hindu as we are. And they should be allowed to do their practices. On the food, he said, because of the typical food situation in the Northeast, they are eating certain things which they will overcome as the, as the nutrition values change and they get better food, etc. That will change, but we cannot make that a point for them to be not part of Hindu fold. But it not, he did not call them Hindus. He let them be tribals. RSS worked to raise the consciousness of tribal societies and give them due respect for indigenous faiths. So that is the approach. Approach is- But we don't need, I mean, the tribals, I mean, uh, they don't need snakes or, you know, I mean, but what about cows? Cows also, they were eating cows, I'm telling you. No, no, but what about Goa, for instance? I'm telling the same thing. 
So when you want to take people along, you have to give give space to those people and persuade them to change their style. It is not by law it happens. By law, many things don't happen. We passed a child marriage law, child marriages still happen. We passed dowry laws, dowries are taken. We passed triple talaq, a ban bill, there are still triple talaqs. So laws are only to obey the work. But so you don't think it's hypocritical that you know that they are abandoning their core ideology for, no, no. Uh, for a certain advantage? Brinda, I gave an example of uh, 370. I gave an example of triple talaq. I'm ban. talking specifically about the beef ban. No, this is these are so many issues on which beef ban is one. And beef ban, as, as I will clarify, which I clarified also, beef, using the beef word is a confusing. Beef means cow as well yeah. as beef. I'm talking about cow. I'm the, talking yeah. about cow. Yeah, cow. So I don't think that all the Goans go and have, uh, you know, cow meat. I doubt it. It is just creation of, too much of creation of meat. They may be taking. And I said, it takes time for people to change. Mm. People have so, changed veg to non-veg. People have changed from veg, non-veg to vegetarian. West, which was the biggest consumer of meat, is slowly turning vegan. So my so, point is that it's not the first time that the BJP has abandoned its core value to kind of accommodate something. So, for instance, say... I don't with a word. I don't but, uh, no, uh, uh, abandon is not And word. when you talk about the Vishwa Hindu Parishad, they are not in power. It's the BJP that's, you know, that's running a government. So yeah. they have certain obligations. For instance... Yeah. Uh, Say the language issue, you know, the imposition of Hindi, for instance. You know, when uh, there was this fracas between uh, Ajay Devgan and uh, this Kannada actor Kitcha, San Sudeep Kitcha, the uh, your chief, I mean, the BJP chief minister of Karnataka actually said that he does not believe in imposition of Hindi. Of Hindi. So again, you know, uh, or the uh, Tamil Nadu chief, BJP chief, Annamalai has said they will not allow the imposition of Hindi, even though Amit Sharma, the Home Minister, and uh, the Prime Minister has been talking about Hindi uh, being uh, the national language. What would you have to say? Again, they've had to backtrack here. What would you have to say there? It is Amit Shah, not Amit Sharma. I Sorry, Amit Shah, I meant Amit Shah, sorry. Now, coming to the issue of language, when has BJP for years together said that a Hindu should, Hindi should be imposed? Yeah. As RSS is concerned, RSS has always said every regional language is a national language. We should have more languages, we should learn more languages, but there has to be some link language which is much more easier to learn than the foreign language, English. And all that Narendra Modi and Amit Shah are speaking is their comfort in Hindi language. If tomorrow a minister comes who is comfortable in English, he speaks in English. If no, no, like, imposition, they were talking about, you know, no, nobody talked, nobody talked of imposition except the media. What Amit Shah said that we should be using more of Hindi, less of English, because Hindi is much more understandable than most of the people. Mm -hmm. But you know that in Northeast, in Arunachal, Assam, and even in Manipur, etc., you have more people speaking good Hindi than people, so called uh, Western uh, state people. I've but that is not what we are talking about. Huh? Huh. So let us not put a word like abandon or you know imposing. These are all constructs created by left media. It is not the construct of BJP or RSS. The other thing is that, you know, would you say that, you know, the RSS, for instance, here has made an impassioned plea quite often to kind of keep the ethnic identities and, of Adivasis and tribals when it talks about Christian conversion, but when it, but it wants to integrate them into Hinduism, then all this thing about ethnic identities vanish. What do you have to say to that? Again, there's this. Who have a ready list of questions you didn't hear in the, in the first place when I talked no. about No, no. I, you, I said what RSS and its associates did in Northeast very clearly. We raised their sense of pride in their own tribe, tribal uh, faiths, which was being killed by the by the people evangelists who said your tribal faiths are false, they are useless, they would have been asked to throw away their gods, burn their scriptures, change their script. Against that, RSS said you preserve your, your tribal faith, your culture, because these are your roots and do not uh, fall into the, uh, this kind of uh, mental slavery. And that is how the indigenous faith movement slowly took root in Northeast. Same is the case in other, any other area. As long as it, is a, it was a uh, conversion by my own interest, and nobody asked me to throw away my gods and my scriptures, if I put one more cross in my temple, I had no problem. When you say that your gods are false, your books are false, not only you not only throwing away the books and the, uh, uh, the idols, but uh, murtis, but also telling them not to transact with their uh, with their relatives till they convert. 
you have to see the northeast uh, face of church and not the church face you see in bangalore or in mumbai there is a lot of difference where they are in the dominating position their approach is very different rss people have suffered they have been persecuted they have been kidnapped they have been killed and terrorists have strong links with church my book talks about very well i have first i have done meetings with christians now they say all of us are not evangelists we are being defamed by people who want to convert and we are not interested in conversion and catholics told me but so, dr sharda we are talking about that you know it is issue of cultural is this issue of cultural decimation of the people who don't believe in christianity when they they convert that is problem no but they, they, they but you rss to never to never ask them to vend and i tell you rss schools hostels in northeast do not convert people either from christianity or islam from tribal cultures they do not convert from islam where they have hostels in uh, in the north side of india in jammu kashmir etc so you have misunderstood rss is good that you read by no no this ghar, is this ghar wapsi and these are some movements the no, movements like the ghar wapsi is about talking about bringing them back into the hindu fold and there is a lot of conversions of tribals it's well known that is happening in from gujarat to well, the north east to everywhere well if you you convert from the native faith to christianity that is good no But no one no, is not saying that is good i'm saying that in If they want uh, to says believes in conversion into hinduism there is your garbhapsi program no, hindu rss doesn't call it conversion because they were originally from the same faith okay. from old so we call it garbhapsi if somebody wants to return to his own roots or her but own, it is not done it's not problem? done voluntarily is there is a whole ceremony it is not done voluntarily there is a whole come on i challenge you dear no no fair enough it, i would have no, no, no. that no 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 please 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 you have you come with very ready made uh, same typical left with glasses no. show me one case where rss or its affiliate organizations or its associates have converted or reconverted or dhar wapsi with force please no there is nothing okay I, I, show me one but you do have I, a process you do have a process i will you tell do. you ten documents tell witnesses who have been forced who have been converted no no you have a process is what i mean you have a process what is the process what is the process please tell me to to uh, uh to to get back they went to the hindu fold there is a process what is the process please tell me i would ask you being the rss expert i would ask you what is the process is involved in religious conversion reconversion vhp its hmm. other religious organizations like anwasi hmm. kalana ashram and many others Okay. even ashramas which has nothing to do with uh, with the uh, mm. rss mm. many others uh, there are different mm. ashramas who do that mm. they have very simple procedure of doing some havan and re- uh, calling them mm. back to their homes that's mm. all you see those the nowadays because of social media you see various pictures of people coming back to their original faith which has which has not even been by rss or dr sharda are you an rss member have you ever been in the rss i have been RS, i have been rss member throughout my life Okay, you still are obviously. So what I, I wanted to uh, what I wanted to ask also ask you is that when it comes to uh, conversions, whether is it all right if uh, what is a love jihad in the sense that if there is if a Hindu man marries a Muslim woman, is that okay? And vice versa is not okay. If a upper caste marries a lower caste, that's not okay. What is the uh, you know the rules for you know say say marriages among inter community inter religious marriages well brinda if you were to go by the numerical examples mm-hmm. if you were the population of rss vis a vis other hindu population be surprised that number of inter caste marriages number of inter religious marriages are much more in proportion than the nor- the ordinary out mainstream hindu society i can vouch for it and in all the rss pracharaks happily go for such marriages bless the couples and in every way encourage inter caste marriages if you go through the actual mm-hmm. happening right coming to love jihad to deny love jihad is being very being very innocent every day you hear stories of it is not just love jihad if it is love jihad in the sense if it is just a love marriage it's fine when people come with false identity when they they uh, groom you then they marry you then tell you tell you the religion okay. and then force you to change the religion even uh, even perpetrated violence to make the uh, girl convert or okay, when so they that- kill the boy when they kill the boy or the girl who wants to marry the other religion but refuse and uh, convert to that particular religion in that case the boys and the girls of muslims are also killed same the same problem is also mm-hmm. also seen by the christian community you know that i have done a youtube conversation with christian uh, clerics who have been fighting love jihad one particular domin- denomination of christianity has 4500 girls missing in kerala 
there is just one denomination so it is not rss it is not just hindus who have a problem this conversion by fraud this conversion well, by fraud, uh, that, that's that's up to the law to decide no, that actually, is up to the law to decide whether it is on, you know on, by Binda, by fakery are, or don't be, don't be apologetic for people who no i am not being apologetic I, I, I just follow the rule of law i just want to ask the rule you, of law should Which i come the to law you, should, the law can, it can you, go through the law process of law to decide whether it is a forced or it is a trickery no or, if i or if i come to you if i come to you mm-hmm. as reskin dikona and do whatever I want to do as a christian and then i then i force my religion on you is that mm-hmm. fraud or not so i just wanted to ask you basically to come back to no, the then you don't uh, duality and <laughs> <laughs> that the duality that is there in the you are uh, among the rss bjp that you know when it comes to certain uh, uh, topics like whether it is love jihad i'm uh, sorry when it comes to the b plan sorry i think yeah. f get disturbed because it's pre pre position look at the rss get disturbed when people like me no 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 I, when you talk about a christian coming to me it's really my choice if somebody wants to woo me and whether he's muslim christian or whatever if he wants to woo me that's i mean i am able to kind of decide what is right or wrong how but do that, i know no there is a problem if i do not know till i am the throne but that can happen in any relationship it doesn't have to be a christian or a muslim it could be a hindu is man it, who could also dupe is me it, yeah, and he should also hindu be, man can also was, dupe me and he should also be punished no any person who converts people on on fake id or marries people on fake id is worthy of a criminal and that, that's why i said the rule of law that's why the courts are there for me to to uh, to appeal to please go through records go through various news reports you'll find who is doing it so yeah, let so, us uh, dr shah the really want to be something like communal person you are posing that on me no no i'm not posing real. no love yeah, jihad is what i'm saying is uh, dr uh, shah that what i really want to get at is that the the duality or the hypocrisy i if i may say that and would you agree with hypocrisy that the bjp has been changing uh, its kind of stance on various issues whether it's language whether it is uh we've been which we have already gone through or whether it is about you know conversions i would like to ask you uh, in when it comes I to i told personal... you are repeating the same falsehood i said bjp never imposed it hindi on no, other no. people that was 1950s when even congress has similar but they no there has been talk about it is not that just that as recently problem. as that as a home minister and, there has yeah, been no, no. So there please, has been a there has been discussions there has been and i also read this paper for your kind information so the thing okay we we'll go to next is that you know for instance when it comes to personal law why is the rss not ready to discuss like when it talks about muslim personal law and we talks about a uniform civil code but what about when it comes to hindu personal law whether it is you know uh, it, it comes to bigamy has been there in many states whether you know among hindus i mean tamil nadu is a classic example where whether it's you know our late chief minister there karunanidhi or you know uh, but it's not seen why is that not an issue when it comes to hindus but it's an issue when it comes to muslims in goa landlords have two three wives and it's all accepted what is the problem here just to see the the whether there is a certain duality here you know hindu court bill is in operations in 1950 Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I said at that time had said that why a Hindu code bill? Why not uniform civil code? Hmm. Point one. Point two is Hindu code bill doesn't allow bigamy, polygamy. If if anybody does a second or third marriage, law is against it. Okay. It is not legalized. RSS doesn't support it. Now for none of RSS leaders, family men have two two wives. Hmm. None has mistress. So to say that what is legally already not allowed and which is criminalized. why should rss speak about something where only already, already law exists that uh, any kind of uh, you know bigamy or polygamy is not allowed in the those uh, uh, in the religions any religion so no, that, that is if that is i want to bring in RSS, and as rss to... said that uh, only muslim should change there is a uniform civil code in uh, in goa implemented by portuguese followed by all the political parties and today is there is a problem there is no problem even with muslims there are no problem it is personal law or this uniform civil code is not communal it is a directive principle of constitution now to make it look communal would be actually very pitiable no because for instance like you know when they wanted to raise the uh, the marriage marriage age of girls from uh, to 
they said do not criminalize the thing whereas when it comes to uh, the love uh, the the talaq 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 the man is criminalized he's thrown into prison there is a difference there right there is a difference you talk no, and that is not fair is that difference fair i am be disappointed you are jumping from one question or other one uh, one thing to another no, we are just moving on to different you topics you are trying to catch me on the wrong foot you will not be no no no, no 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 we are just moving from one topic to another <laughs> okay See, for example you talked about uniform civil code i responded you talked about criminality of hindus marrying second we are just going by point by point and no so now you said that what about uh, marriage age yeah. why marriage it's not the same for all the girls are muslim girls different no no the... no i'm talking about the criminality they saying do the, crimin the 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 why the should be not same for all the girls are girls don't uh, don't girls require same gender justice no no should you are saying uh, they are saying that the man should be criminalized it's not fair i'm answering you jump into that so typically uh, no, 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 go on go on i thought it was conversation you are trying to create no, a no, no, sorry sorry i've lost you I think I'm I'm talking over you because I can't hear you. Please go on. Please go ahead. If there is a problem with the audio, let us find out. We will. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Carry on. Now it's it's fine. A criminality is a criminality. If you talk with gender gender justice, triple talaq was typically a gender justice issue. It was not a communal issue. Similarly, no, was, you're criminalizing the man who does that. Uh, you know who because who because, like because it's a violence on the woman. It's a gender gender uh, you know gender discrimination. If law doesn't allow, if for example dowry is not allowed, it is a criminal offence, right? Everybody can go to jail. You doubt but, about that? But there is a dilution also on that. There is uh, a dilution on uh, section forty. Miss Prinda, Miss Prinda, mm -hmm. husband, wife, sister-in-law, brother-in-law, fathers mm -hmm. have been put into jail for days together on mm -hmm. false case of dowry. So if there is a law, if there is a law, whether false or true, I am not talking about individual cases. I am saying if there is a law which makes this criminal. as hindu or christian or muslim a criminal act is a criminal act why do you differentiate between no 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 because you gender justice because as a woman you should be happy that no, 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 no. gender justice in every religion i think you misunderstood my question i said that when where whereas you criminalize the man who does triple talaq and he's still forced from jail still supposed to kind of uh, look after his uh, spouse in the uh, in the in the uh, in this thing of uh, the hindu uh, sorry i must get my back there right i'll just come back to you on that but the other thing is that if if in all these do you see that the uh, the state craft is coming into play a lot more than ideology in these various instances that i brought up i'll just talk to you about the criminal in a minute in a back to you claimed that bjp was doing injustice to muslims by raising issues of uh, the, the triple talaq and all that now you are no, saying no, I said, like i said right. i will come back to you on that and Sorry. i said yeah. and i said yes bjp as a ruling party is a governing party has to take care of mood of different people and take its own time to persuade people to change and bring bring those laws so what is wrong in that have okay. they abandoned the platform as i said ram mandir 370 everything was said to be bending the platform they didn't abandon But is it also through force, or can it come through force, or is it coming through? What do you What do you think about all the incidents of uh, communal attacks, or you know, does it come through force of you know uh, cow vigilantes? Isn't that? Ah, uh, I knew lynching was coming. No, no, Because... no. But isn't that force, or is that about uh, getting people to come to you know through dialogue and through you know discussions? Would you say is that uh, what do you say is happening today? For information. everybody talks about two three lynching cases there are 150 uh, you know i had a list of 33 cow protectors including girls police force and muslims who were killed by the protectors. so let us stop you know uh, drumming okay, around uh, if you feel that uh, what no, i want we have, to be, we have to be we have to be balanced so that is one thing so cow protection is not just hindu issue muslims also go for it women also take part in that and they are uh, beaten uh, killed very brutally during the time when you talk about all this lynching and all 150 rss workers have been killed during last 3 4 years kerala but Bangar, that's political that's uh, political it has nothing to do with the it's not about uh, it's I'm a sorry. ideological battle this is why you normal this is how you normalize rss no uh, i'm not normalizing i'm saying there's no com uh, comparison not, to no no it is not uh, political how vigilantes my dear friend it is not coming it is not political let us understand 
let us understand they get killed because they are hindu activists they are not killed because of bjp workers so differentiate between bjp rss bhp workers christian workers who have been killed because sure. of their love for cow so let us normalize killing by saying rss to political hai maar diya to koi baat nahi what is this language no 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 no, no. you you are talking about wait wait i'm talking wait, about, wait, talking wait, about wait. cow vigilantes being killed by uh, strangers on the uh, on the highway i'm talking about that and cow protesters also killed by the uh, killed by the cow smugglers on the highways in pol- uh, around police station police also killed mm-hmm. so let us understand this is a issue of mm-hmm. uh, cow protection which is very dear to people who are in the cow in the milk business who mm-hmm. are into this, who have this deep faith in this mm-hmm. who are into organic uh, life and all that so not try to trivialize killing of rss workers if that were so then that is a the reason you people keep quiet when tmc Well, a goose went and killed hundreds of people. And there's nothing about keeping quiet. We're just looking at issues. One last thing, then, Doctor Sharda, okay. I would like to ask you, since we have approached certain uh, subjects, is that when you talk about, uh, you know, when non-BJP governments kind of adopt a kind of a more pacifist approach of initiating dialogue, whether it is, you know, uh, with insurgent groups or would you, I mean, or you know, the UN abroad. the rss is always called it you know like weak and lame dark so would you say in your conflict resolution what is the way how do you kind of see it R- what is the best way first of all rss has never called this government weak not this government non bjp governments non bjp non bjp government yes if they have if they have done something which is a strong they will speak about that when indira gandhi did atomic explosion they were they lauded her when she created bangladesh they lauded her they had very good working relation with north east if you do not know please read you will find that in the no no fair enough but i think when, right, it, you know when they talk to so when they talk to terrorist groups is, or when they talk to not terrorist groups or when they talk to separatist groups i i part my language separatist yes. groups then they see as weak and you know a lame duck is that a, a, what is if, the rss approach if you read my book you will find that think of the governments of various parties on kashmir jammu kashmir issue for years together whenever things would cool down they will go back to 1953 as if that is some kind of solution which was never a solution they were never convinced that kashmir belongs to india that is the reason they thought that they dealing with some foreign insurgents and they have to talk to them in dif- in a different way that was the weakness it was not weakness of particular party But if you talk on northeast the governments talked and in fact i have criticized in one place for your information where they had negotiated a settlement during rajiv gandhi time and rss criticized it in one of the resolutions i said this particular accord worked so maybe diplomatic approach is sometimes good and one can actually allow that to take place so in its 70 year or in 70 years of resolutions i have studied if i find in one or two places it has not taken the rights and probably historically if you look at in perspective of 30 years i have accepted it at the same time what is the way out if unless you say unless you assert and unless you identify those people and saying that we have common culture we have common history how many people knew that mahabharat references are across northeast how many people know that in manipur in tripura there are religious books that talk about 1500 old ties between kings of northeast and india on the, uh, the main main part of india no because that is not what was taught we were but the thing not- is that uh, dr sharada of yours of talking you know Sorry, sorry conversation is really just like a tv anchor sorry sorry go on go on i was saying what kind of narrative is built when we do not see the underlying unity of india the culture and unity that is where bjp has scored when it has been able to create much better atmosphere in northeast so why should i criticize it in punjab we stood with congress we we congress stood with us when we fought the insurgency in 1980 90 Where is the question of weakness? Weakness was we criticized the way terrorism was allowed to sprout in the name of uh, you know f- f- uh, you know the divisive politics. We criticized that, but when it came to blow, we did not go back and criticize Indira Gandhi. We did not uh, let the con- Congress people suffer or anybody suffer. We suffered. You made your point. You made your point, Doctor Sarda. What I want to ask you then is: then would you say then this kind of you know uh, of sacking Nupur Sharma? is that a kind of a, a would you say that is modi's jinnah moment when uh, lp not Adva- at all. we should not use such horrible terms okay no i'm talking about jinnah moment why not gandhi lp advani talk no why not gandhi a secular 
ಪಾಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ರಿಂದ ವೈ ನಾಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಗಾಂಧಿ ಟರ್ಮ್ ವೈ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರು ಟರ್ಮ್ ವೈ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಜಿನ್ನಾ ಟೈಮ್ ರಿಲೇಶನ್ಶಿಪ್ it he took a certain stand i am not governing the city, uh, the country i can have my views but it sure. does not mean that i will criticize modi in such horrible terms that he have done none of the hindus have done it there are some ultra hindus just like there are some ultra muslims who think they know they are more loyal than the uh, prime minister himself to the faith and to the nationalism some people will speak you know did you, uh, did you uh, understand what i said i meant that See, i man. i think i i don't know if you heard what i said i said is this uh, the prime ministers like lk adwani's jina movement movement no there is all i meant there is a huge difference hmm. that was uh, the particular uh, the episode of lk adwani hmm. was something very different it was it, it just happened proactively or whatever is that i don't want to get into that everybody makes some fox pass in public life i have huge respect for adwani ji i have seen he turn around bjp but as far as this issue is concerned where is the jina movement modi ji took an action it was up to the lower uh, lower uh, ranks of the party the organization not the government to see to it that the thing uh, the this particular approach of uh, to the gyanwapi case the way people are ridiculing uh, they are creating unrest in the mind of hindus at that time the party should have taken stance the party thought nupur had done something very next day some stance should have been taken it is uh, there was no action for 10 days but some action has been taken which is equivocal which is balanced now for that to say that modi has this jinna movement i very sorry is one okay, of the then would you say then okay then would you say that you know it was uh, maybe he the response was like a uh, that he was forced to do it would you say he, uh, modi was forced to do it see nobody can by international it. pressure well, how do you, you look should, at that whole dynamic you should if by this time modi 20 years of life that you have seen i think you have that much experience nobody can force modi ji to do anything mm. you know that very well neither pakistani is nor chinese non uh, non us nor russia nobody when he takes a decision he takes on his own volition what he thinks is right nobody can force him and you know the very next day iran has come here to india and has said that we have very good relations with india these are temporary troubles created by leftists who have gone all over the world for But last 8 is- years we are demonizing modi demonizing rss no 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 i am just asking a very str- simple question no 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 did he succumb did he was he forced to take this or how do you see it did he succumb to some kind of pressure how do you, you see will it? On, you will keep on pushing words in my mouth i will no i am asking you i am not putting in your mouth i will not use those words okay. as i said he has taken a decision because somewhere down the line no decision was taken for some days i don't know whether he has taken the decision or party has taken the decision mm. everybody has taken a decision but it was first of all the call of the party not of the government first of all and when decision was taken it was taken in the right trust i trust modi ji and i say that okay i have said already in the beginning i have said on tv channels i can say again i think the decision was a bit delayed police action was a bit delayed it should be taken at shahin bagh if you have taken action they have taken action against shahin babu shahin bagh goons who insulted hindus and created hate created violence we would not have seen gyanwapi you also said that uh, they should have uh, taken yes, sir, a decision allow- on nupur a little earlier is that what you meant you don't even allow me to complete no 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 sir so, huh. you said the decision on nupur should also have been taken earlier it could have been taken earlier maybe when the gyanwapi joke started maybe when shaheen bagh uh, you know the no nupur was not there that time we are talking about now no no just a moment huh. you are a, i you know, are, i get what you, you are saying. a leftist you know that there are historical context right you know that something doesn't happen very easily some things are done as a trial basis that was done during shahin bagh unfortunately they were allowed to have freedom to uh, you know behave worst with the hindus have worst kind of jokes and worst kind of abuse on hindus you have you have seen those posters i don't need to repeat them and if that had happened when gyanwapi the joke started action should have been taken by the police at that time because that was not that was not taken nupur sharma happened and when it we took the action they have taken action against everybody 
so i i cannot say that you know there is no action taken i cannot say action taken is wrong as i said earlier i am repeating that much but to use your words i am sorry no 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 I... so so you are saying that it was not that it was not that a moment of weakness it was not a moment of being uh, being kind of uh, lame duck but it was just a decision that you know the party took but it should have come earlier is what you are saying it, it could have come earlier definitely i have said this i am repeating it yeah but yeah. as i said again i am saying i am not in government i can yeah. say anything i like i do not no, know the that... compulsions of a government or of a ruling party because they have to behave in a very very responsible manner they can behave they cannot behave like me or any other organization who is not in the government so realizing that that much margin and respect to the government for that particular period has to be given what reason criticism has to be done i have already done thank you so much dr shahabra thank you so much thank you thank you so much bye bye let me close the recording first mm -hmm.